All right, it is my uh, my CFFC broadcast partner, Andre Petrosky. I guess, uh, how's life these days? You're taking time away from professional broadcasting to go do a little professional fighting. It's good, man. Been working really hard. I'm getting uh, getting anxious. I want to get after it. I'm excited. Yeah, talk to me about your last Obviously, your last one was a bit of a crazy one, right? I mean, uh, a wild fight, to say the least. You got it done. But, I mean, what kind of lessons do you take out of a, a fight like that? I mean, just from a technical aspect, I was able to see, like, you know, what what I really needed to work on as far as, like, the striking goes. And, <clears throat> I mean, honestly, of, of all the fights that I've won, that was probably one that I could take the most of what to, what I can improve on from. Like, I, I made a lot of mistakes, yet I still was able to get the win, which is uh, kind of rare, you know? Yeah, that's kind of a benefit, right? Normally, you got you got to take a loss to get the lessons here. You got tested, but still get to walk away with the victory and the win bonus, which is nice. Yeah, no doubt. So, like, especially even in the grappling, too, like, I had six submission attempts before I finally got to finish. So, going back and, you know, really going back over the details and what do I need to do differently to get these finishes so that I'm, I don't have to go to the third round, you know? I get it. I get it. All right. So it's been, I want to say about seven months at this point now since you've had a chance to fight. Was that, was that by design or is it the UFC just been letting you sit around for a little while? What's been going on? <clears throat> to be honest, I'm not really sure. Um, we were probably about, it was probably three months since my last fight. Um, well, I'll tell you when it was, it was Maximov's last fight. Um, and that night I texted, uh, my manager and I said, yo, can you get me this fight? And, um, we basically, I had a contract signed within like a week of that. So within a week of his last fight, we had signed the contract. And at the time I remember thinking like, ah, oh, we can't find April or nothing, but, um, nah, I think, it, you know, it is what it is. It, it's yeah. I would rather have fought, um, you know, I'd rather not sit out for six months, but it is what it is. It's, we really like the matchup and opportunity. So, it was worth it. And, you know, it's the first time I'm getting a full camp. My last two fights were on short notice. So um, it's different, but there's definitely benefits to having a full camp. Look, I like this matchup, too. I didn't I didn't realize you had asked for it. So what was it about it that you said, that's the guy we want right there? I just, like, was watching him just, like, out-wrestle guys. And, you know, I, I, honestly, I had just randomly watched him when he was on the Contender Series and he fought at heavyweight. And I don't know what about him caught my eye. And then I watched him again against uh, Brunage because that was my teammate at, at the time. He, he used to be my teammate. And I was like, man, at the, when I was watching that, I was like, man, Cody could have beat him if he would have just been, like, been fighting a little bit more. And then when I watched, um, uh, when, when I watched him beat Soriano, I was like, dude, I, I'm better than this kid, man. Like, I am better than this kid. And, and, like everything he does, I'm like, I'm better. You know what I mean? So I wanted that matchup. I, I, I like the challenge. I think, you know, to beat a, a guy that's undefeated is, is a challenge that uh, excites me, you know, for anyone really. Yeah. Well, listen, I, I, the reason I like it, I mean, I, I think that you guys could have a, a pretty incredible grappling match. I mean, obviously it's an MMA fight. So I wonder, I mean, are you expecting to really get in there and test his grappling? Or do you think it's one of those situations where you've got, you know, two high-level wrestlers, two high-level grapplers, it cancels itself out, and so it ends up being, you know, an all-out brawl on the feet. Look, I'm confident in my striking. I'm confident in my grappling, obviously. Uh, I think I've shown over and over that I can grapple with anyone. I have the best grappling in the division, you know what I mean? So uh, wherever it goes, I'm good. Um I'm excited, man. I, I think – I love it. You know, I think it's a – the card is interesting. I think it's definitely has opportunity for fight of the night. That's that's what I'm going for. I want a bonus. Like, that's that's what I think about when I'm training. I love it. You, you actively think, I got to get that extra 50 grand. So what does that mean? You got to dominate or you got to be willing to take some risk? I mean, how do you translate that into, into getting the bonus? <clears throat> so when I'm training, like, you know, there's times where – you know, there's 30 seconds left and you get a takedown and you can stay on a guy and just lay on him or you can work for that finish. And if I, I, I in my back of my head, I was like, I'm not getting a bonus unless I finish this guy every round. So 
That's what I'm thinking about. Every time, every round, I'm thinking about, I got to finish this guy. I love it. Should translate to a great fight. Then back at the UFC Apex, we should say. I mean, uh, do you prefer that, or do you, do you, do you kind of miss not getting to do a little world traveling? I mean, that was a bit of an adventure last time, or is it easier to go, I just got to fly out to Vegas? Uh, yeah, Yes and no, for sure. I, Abu Dhabi was an incredible experience, one that I'll always remember. Um, I mean, yeah, like Apex is, is closer and it's easier, but I would like the fans for sure. But the way I see it is like, I'm just going after the bonus. Like that's that's what I want. I want, you know, it's a good fight. I'm very familiar with the um, the setting. It'll be my fourth fight in the Apex, and like yeah, like I, it, it sucks telling everyone uh, like no fans, there's no tickets. Like so many people want to come out and support and come to the fights, but that'll come. That'll th- those those fights will come. Yeah, exactly. You, maybe a, a victory here and you end up uh, getting on a big pay-per-view card or something like that where there are fans and, and the people can't attend. Maybe on the East Coast, if they go there, I hear rumors of maybe the East Coast later this year. Would that appeal to you? Yeah. I mean, look, I think Philly is inevitable. They got to come to Philly at some point. We got, you know, we got seven guys in the UFC from, from the area. So, and especially, you know, you got even more from just up north in New York. Um, Randy Brown's fighting, ne- uh, next weekend. So everybody tune in and watch him. But, um, yeah, look, there's too many, there's too much talent on the East coast in this specific area, not to come to Philadelphia. And I think it's only a matter of time. I love it. So what's the priority you win here? Are you already looking at other guys or, you know, I mean, you, you asked for this one, are, are you keeping an eye on other names or is it really just about a, a quick turnaround or is it about fighting on the East coast? I mean, you win here. What's the goal? I mean, I'm not looking past my opponent right now, but my the next goal is to get a new contract for sure. Um, I mean, that's what I want. I want a new contract. Is this the final fight on it, or are you hoping to renegotiate? <clears throat> hoping to renegotiate. Right, got to be a businessman. Three times they called me on short notice, and I stepped up. Um, you know, two of the three fights happened, and, uh, you know, I got the finish. So I'm hoping that the UFC considers that in the process i love it man well we'll hope that all gets worked out behind the scenes i'm sure an impressive win here would, would help with that i guess last thing for me Andre, i mean when you when you see this thing play out i mean are you seeing a, a, you know a crazy grappling fight i know you're ready to go anywhere i know you're looking for that bonus but what kind of fight do you think we see is this back and forth can you dominate what are we going to see i mean historically i don't my fights don't go the distance you know i mean i'm a finisher and um, explosive finisher, I get finishes, submissions, TKOs, doesn't matter. Um, so the likelihood of it going the distance, I would say slim to numb. But if it does, bonus is all is what I'm concerned about. I want the victory and I want the bonus. So it's I love good. it, man. It's going to be a hell of a well, fight. Awesome. Can't and ask for more than see, that. see that the UFC agrees. That's why, you know, you can see where they put it at in the card, which was cool to see. No doubt about it. I think it looks like a banger on paper, man. Looking forward to it. Right, I'll let you get to that ice bath. I know you can't wait to jump in that ice bath over there. So uh, enjoy that, and we'll see you here in Las Vegas very soon.